Hi, I'm Vicki Hoth from Handy Quilter, and I want to show you today how to use your pole cradles after you get them installed. So there's a video on how to install them, and now what do I do with those pole cradles? A couple of things that I really like to use them for. First of all is to get that batting in between my top and my backing. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually take my pole out and place it up into the pole cradle, and my helper on this end is going to do it so that we've got both of them up. Now, notice how much space I have between my top pole and my backing pole. Plenty of space to get that batting in between situated so that it doesn't stretch and everything's going to be nice. No tucks, no pulls, just line that up. I've moved my machine off to the end and my helper is going to do that side so that we get this all and I, I like to just move my batting up so that it's right against, and I tighten my fabric, backing fabric, so that it's right up against my pins. So that everything is just good, lined up. Then I'm going to lay this down so that there are no tucks. I do not like to have any little ridges in my batting. So it's really nice there. Now. I'm going to take my backing, or my top fabric, I'm actually going to unroll it a couple of times and just lay it down there and then I'll go ahead and put my poles back into their spots and make sure they go in. Put your ratchet down and now I can move that, now I can run my um, horizontal stitch across here to plumb that up, you know, the, the, my plumb line, so that then I can move my fabric up and line it right up with that. Now, the other thing is, is when I advance the quilt, and I advance it forward, and then sometimes your batting tends to want to advance a little different, so then there'll be those tucks. So again, I will lift this up and maybe just one pole, maybe that's all I need to go and I can run my hand underneath that and make sure there are no, no little wrinkles in my batting and everything's laying straight. If I have two layers of batting, for sure I'd want to raise up both ends of the pole and I would want to check that bottom layer to make sure nothing, there are no wrinkles in that, everything is smooth. Once it's done, I can go ahead put that back down, put my ratchet down, tension it up the way I need, and I'm ready to quilt again.